Hello, welcome viewers to Elimu TV, whereby we learn and experience. Today we are going to have our biology form 1, lesson 11. Our topic today will be on the cell, and as uh, so we are aware that the cell is the basic unit of an organism. Our third topic will be uh, the different, we are going to deal with the different types of tissues in plants. Your tutor will be Mr. Gerald. Welcome. Uh, our lesson goals, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to give different types of plant tissues as we are going to discuss them in our lesson. Let us be keen. Our first uh, tissue on the plant, we are going to deal with the epidermal uh, tissue. And as, see, as you can see from our diagram, uh, we have this uh, uh, diagrammatic representation of the um, epidermal tissue. The epidermal tissue, uh, as you are aware that uh, it is found on the leaf, and as you are aware that we have uh, both the upper and the lower epidermis. But uh, on our diagram, this is just a, a diagrammatic representation of the epidermis. It can either be the, um, it, is a com uh, co it comprises of the upper and the lower epidermis, and as you can see, we have uh, several organelles. Uh, um, we have the, uh, the xylem. You know the function of the xylem is to transport water uh, through the plant. We also have the phloem. And as uh, so you are aware that uh, the function of the phloem is to transport uh, uh, food materials. We have the trichomes. We still have the chloroplast. And as uh, so you are aware that the, in the chloroplast is where the um, photosynthesis takes place. We also have fascicular bundles. Our fascicular bundles here, these are combination of both the xylem and the, the phloem. We also have guard cells, whereby uh, the function of the guard cells, they regulate the opening and closing of the stomata. Because as you can see, we have uh, the stoma, which is attached to the guard cells. That is, it is, uh, that is a singular form of the stomata. We have got air spaces, whereby th uh, the air spaces, their function is to allow um, air to get into the into the leaf. As I have said earlier, that the, the epidermal cell is found in the leaf. So all the functions that all the function that uh, occur in a leaf, uh, this, the, the epidermis is part of the is part of the part of the leaf. And I have said the air spaces they allow uh, gases to get in and out of the of the leaf. And uh, because you know the function of the um, uh, normally. The leaves, that those are the plants, they take in carbon dioxide and they remove uh, oxygen as their end products. So the, the, the gases, they, they get into the leaf through the air spaces. We also have the cuticle and we have different functions of the cuticle. And um, generally the cuticle is a shiny um, structure yeah, we on, the, uh, on the surface of the of the leaf or the lower surface of the leaf. The cuticle can be found in any side of the of the leaf. We also have the sp spongy mesophyll, the spongy mesophyll layer. Uh, as you have, have seen, we also have the palisade mesophyll. So that is the diagrammatic representation of the epidermal tissue. Um, so, so in general, it is a single thin layer of cells covering the outer surfaces. That is the upper and the lower. It protects inner tissues of the plants from mechanical damage and infections. So the main purpose or function of the, of the epidermal tissue is to protect the um, inner tissues of plants from um, infections and mechanical damage. We are going to have our second tissue, which is the palisade tissue. And as you can see from our diagram, that is the palisade um, tissue. We have the upper epidermis. And uh, in, our, um, in our, our last uh, diagram, that is the previous diagram, which is the epidermal tissue, we are going to have our upper epidermis. We have the palisade mesophyll. We also have the spong uh, spongy mesophyll. We have um, the lower epidermis, as you can see. We have the veins. We have the gall cell, we still have the stoma. And as, as we have seen earlier on, the stoma, the gall cells are attached to the stoma, whereby the gall cells, they regulate the opening and closing of the stomata. Um, so this is a group of cells 
rich in chloroplasts containing chlorophyll. We say that the function of the um, chloroplast this is whereby a photosynthesis takes place. So the part is a tissue, it has sites for absorption of light energy and the manufacture of food by photosynthesis. Um, as you are aware that the function of um, the function of the chloroplast is to trap light energy which will be converted into light and uh, into uh, energy for production of uh, food of for the plant. Our third um, our third um, tissue will be the parenchyma tissues and as you can see from our diagram I've uh, tried to give the transverse section of the tissue of the parenchyma tissues and also the longitudinal section. Uh, they, they are just the same, it's not that they are different but uh, the first one is the trans transverse section while the other one is a longitudinal section but they are both represent the parenchyma tissues. In the parenchyma tissues as you can see we have the cell wall, we also have the nucleus, we also have the cytoplasm we have the intercellular space, we also have the vacuoles. Um, as we are aware, uh, the parenchyma it contains cell wall and uh, you know the function of the cell wall, it gives the, pl um, the plant cell a definite, a definite um, shape unlike animal cells which lack the, uh, the cell wall. The cell wall it, it also has another function, but it, it protects the uh, plant from mechanical injury. Um, we are going to have our, um, but before we get to, to our fourth um, tissue, the parenchyma tissues, it, they consist of the special thin, walled, irregular shaped cells. As you can see, the, the our, cell, the, our cells, they are very irregular. That is for the parenchyma tissues. And they form packaging and storage sites. The, fun the main function of the parenchyma tissues, they are used as storage sites. We are going to have our last um, our tissue, which is the vascular bundle. Uh, the, vas uh, the vascular bundles mainly uh, it consists of the xylem and the phloem. And uh, as uh, we have said earlier on, the function of the xylem is to transport water and mineral salts, while the phloem is for the transportation of food. On the vascular bundles, that is uh, in, uh, according to our diagram, we have the epidermis, uh, we have the cortex, uh, we have the xylem, uh, we have the procambium in the vascular parenchyma, and we have vascular bundle. Now, um, we have to look at different uh, tissues. So now we are going to have the following activity. You give three specialized plant tissues and their functions. And for further information, you can refer to your KLB Secondary Biology Students Book 1, 4th edition, Nairobi. Uh, for, for, more, uh, for more information, uh, you can contact us through our SM, you can send us an SMS through the number that you can see from the skill, screen, or you reach us through our YouTube channel at Elimu TV, or you get to our Facebook page, which is Elimu TV, or you send us a message on our Twitter at Elimu, Elimu TV um, Kenya. Thank you for watching, and let us interact more for more lessons. Thank you.